I've been searching on YouTube for tutorials on how to use the Suno or Udio, these kind of websites, but I thought that something was missing and what was missing, in my opinion, was a step-by-step -step guide. Today, I will show you how to take advantage of this amazing technology. Hey guys, I am DJ Legion from Audio Waves Academy. Everybody knows that the AI technology is getting like really big. I have heard also that it will take our jobs and so on and so on. To say the truth, I am not really afraid of the AI technology because the last uh, month almost I spent working with it and I wanted, really want to show you how you can really make much better music and much quicker. Here right now we are on Suno. But to say the truth, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to create music from Suno. I'm just going to show you, for example, let's say, okay, you see that I have done, I have created a lot of things. Uh, let's say, for example, I want um, slap house track talking about um, break up. So these are two examples. Let's have a listen. We were flying high. Now we fall from the sky Dreams that fell apart Left us in the dark Echo of the past Fading way too fast Love we couldn't keep Now we're lost in sleep Broken hearts collide In the night we hide Lost in the So right now you have an idea how the final result could be from uh, Suno, but if you are taking music seriously, you are not going to release this song right now. But let me show you some other examples that I had here that I really liked. If you remember the song Sweet Dreams, I just took the lyrics and I just put it in and I said, okay, I want a slap house track. So this is what it came up. I travel world on the seven seas. Everybody's looking for some of them to you Some of them want to abuse you Some of them want to be abused Sweet dreams are made of this Who am I to disagree? I travel world and the seven seas Well, actually, it's not really bad. Uh, so what I did, I just downloaded here. You can go and download the track. And now let's go on Logic. And here we have three different projects that uh, I used here from Suno. The first one is the Sweet Dreams that we already heard. The second one is named uh, Calling is something like uh, an RB trap kind of stuff, like Jewish word. It's not that I don't care, you know it's true But sometimes I gotta be alone, just me and my crew Always on my mind, even when I'm on my own But tonight I gotta let it rain, 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 let it rain I ain't answering the phone tonight Got too much on my mind, can't make it right Yeah, okay, it's not something so special, but you can work with this and now let's go on the other one. This is the Hold My Hand track. Home in the beat of the moment We'll find where we belong Hold hands, lose ourselves tonight In the glow of the moonlight We'll feel alive with every step we take we'll... This was something like a pop kind of house, pop house track. And, but let's go now back again on the Sweet Dreams. Here uh, I am on Logic. And I have just taken out the stems from the track. And now we have the vocals, we have the drums, we have the bass, and we have the other, most of the times, are the instruments. So what I wanted to show you here is that you have the possibility now to take out the vocals, for example, and build another track from this instrument and to get inspired. Uh, you can use some other uh, rhythmic, some other melodies, and generally go and build around this track. By the way, before I go on, I would like to show you something that is also really important most of the times. Let me go on the Sweet Dreams track again. Here right now, you can see that the kick is coming here. So that means uh, I have already found that uh, it is on 126 BPM, but you have to put it on the correct time. So a really quick guide about it is to go here and let to play where the chorus is. So 
So now if I go and enable, for example, the metric, the metronome, it's everything out of time. And let's go and put it again on 126. Again, it will not be on time. It's, yeah, sorry about it, but it is somehow on time, but not on correct. So this should come uh, here. Let me go and bring it, the nine, because this is the first transient from the kick and this always shows that we are on beat. Let's go and zoom in again here. You see that we have this space, if I go and delete it, to have a little bit more space to work. So again, now we are 100% correct. Now our next step is to go and find the key of the track. Unfortunately, from soon on we don't have any information about the BPM and the kick and the key, sorry. If I go and edit details here, for example, there is nothing. If it is something, please let me know in the comments below. But I couldn't find anything. You can go on this website, the tunebat.com analyzer. And right now I'm just going to throw the track. And it says the track is in D minor and 126 BPM that we already found earlier. Now that we have the basic information that we needed, you can go here on your bass. And for this purpose, I'm going to use, where is it? The melody to find the chord progression of this track. Of course, you can go and use also your ears, but this sometimes is a bit more time consuming. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel world and the seven seas. Everybody's... Right now, Melodyne suggests that it is an F minor. Let's go and see if it is also in D minor. So in D minor, we are also correct. So I will just take the word from TuneBet and I will go with the D minor here. So that means we have this chord progression, the F, the D, the B flat, and then the C. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel world and the seven seas. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel world and the seven seas. Now that we know the important information, we can go and build around this track. I will just quick forward so that you don't waste so much time w watching me doing this stuff. Now we have these drums. Now I can go and use the Melodyne again if I want to be 100% sure what the baseline is really playing here because it's not so easy to hear. If you remember earlier here, we had the F, the D, and then the B flat and then the C. But right now on the drop, we have only the D and at the end it changes to the C. So let's go and try something out. Okay, I wasn't 100% perfect here. Let's go and quantize it. For example, these notes here are wrong. Again, these ones here are wrong. And now that we have the bass and the chord progression and the drums, you can go and build like a whole track around it. The main problem though will be the vocals. A solution for this one is to use these vocals for a vocal guide for another singer. 
From my experience with artists, I have seen that if I send a track with a vocal, like a demo version, it will help them understand also my vision about the track, where the chorus is or where, where the verse is and how I would like the final vocal to sound. I find a lot of potential on this AI technology if you really take advantage of it. Uh, it really helps sometimes when you have some beat blocks or maybe you have an idea how a track could sound but you are going to get inspired, for example, from the rhythm or from the vocal. So why not finish a track that you never thought from the beginning? I know there might be some people out there that uh, they will say, this is not creative, this is not music production and so on and so on. But in my opinion, if you start and adapt these tools, it will help you also be a better producer. I hope you found the tutorial today really helpful. I wanted to do something different because I think that AI is the future. And now that I'm talking about AI, if you want to learn something about AI EQing, check out this video.